All right, so, um, base, okay, so, this is actually the second take, but I may have figured out the issue regarding Natsuki's dad not appearing, which was what caused the error in the previous part. Uh, basically in my Google Drive where I downloaded the mod from, not, tr is there anything super compromising here? Not from what I see, but basically I downloaded these files, right? But I didn't download the file for Natsuki's dad, so I feel like an idiot for that. So what I then did was I downloaded the actual file for Natsuki's dad. I can show this here, right? So this is the file then, right? And that's just, and obviously that's just, you know, in my, because this is how I keep track of all the DDLC mods I played. So then I added it to, like just showing this, right? I added it into the game file, so along with mod assets, scripts, and some mods, which are the ones we personally add, right? I also added Natsuki's dad, which has all the images. So I'm hoping that, you know, that will likely fix it. If it doesn't, unfortunately, you can actually already see the previous screen recordings I did. Because I actually went, th my plan was to go through the mod, um sort of with the intention of just ignoring every scene with Natsuki's dad, but I realized how stupid that was. Like, because the second interaction with Natsuki's dad's a lot longer than the first, so I kind of spent around 30 minutes just kind of figuring out what to do. So yeah, also new, new background credit down at the bottom because I figured it may actually be my background that's giving me copyright but I use it on like every video so likely not so yeah and I actually didn't end up saving but here's what I want to figure out this was obviously the option we clicked last time but I'm gonna skip all the way to the first interaction with Nazi's dad because I want to see if this is the solution I'm gonna quickly um I'm gonna escape as soon as I we hit that interaction Okay, so that did actually solve the problem. Okay, that's good. Because I was actually like, I was extremely disappointed for a moment. So I'm not even going to upload the other two parts that I showed, right? Because it was just like me bullshitting for 30 minutes, basically. Like, basically figuring out what exactly I'm going to do. And then I figured, oh, wait. If for whatever reason, only after 30 minutes of basically talking to myself, it came to me, maybe I didn't download the entire thing. And that is, in fact, the case, right? <sighs> so, yeah, this is actually Natsuki's dad. This is the same. There, there's like two character models for Natsuki's dad, right? You have the character model from Behind Closed Doors, which is, I wouldn't say less. Like, th there are distinct models, right? It's hard to compare them. That one is a lot more, I'd say, like, yeah, it's really hard to compare them. You can't really compare them, but I'll just say you have the style from, like, behind closed doors, and then this is the one that was used in, like, Summer Hope, and now this mod, right? It may have even been, no, I don't even think Exit Music had a character model for Natsuki's dad. I just think he was some unknown figure. But, yeah, this is, okay, so hopefully no more errors, right? There, there shouldn't be any more given we actually have the character file for Natsuki's dad. I can't believe it only came to me after about 30 minutes that maybe I didn't download it. I'm such an idiot. But now that it's actually solved, we can continue, right? Without issue. Watch it. And then, yeah. So, sorry, I'm just looking for someone. Because the main issue wasn't even that we couldn't see him. We just couldn't get all the dialogue for their conversation, right? Which is what's the most important thing. Like, I don't really care about seeing him. I just want the dialogue. Just stay out of my way. Yeah, it's like, bro, you're looking for someone. Just stay out of his way. I mean, he's trying to, like, walk. Like, just stay out of his way, man. Like, who shit his cereal this morning? You? He, you were in his way. MC. And then, yeah, this is where um Yuri comes. We can actually skip all this, but... Yeah, because we can actually skip till the second scene with Natsuki's dad if we really wanted to. But I don't feel like there's a point now. He just got away. Because, yeah, that's Natsuki's dad, right? What? The man you just encountered, that was him. I suddenly feel like a fool. Well, I mean, he's he's got the same pink hair, right? Did I really just miss my chance? He didn't get away. I mean, it's been like two seconds. He shouldn't be out of sight. And then he sprint in the direction. Somehow he's already away. I don't understand that. 
I'll bring you to justice. You sure about that? Because somehow he got away from him. The next few hours are full of an endless chase. I end up back where he started. Like, I don't understand how he lost him that quickly. It's literally, it was literally like two seconds. So, I mean, but now that leads to the MC losing him and spending hours looking for him, searching for him. My body is trembling from fatigue. If I go any longer, I'll faint. Uh, he goes longer after this, so damn it. He needs to eat, though. Like, that's a thing. MC, it's been four hours. Are you okay? Because Monica's searching off in, like, her own... She's searching elsewhere, right? Yuri and the MC just managed or happened to, like, run into each other after Yuri was chasing Natsuki's dad. So Yuri actually figured out he was Natsuki's dad and on his trail. But then her running into the MC... Obviously, she relayed that information to him, but now they lost him, right? So... I'm fine, but he got away. Meet back with us here. Because Monica, they were just went off in their own direction to try and, like, you know, somehow find him, which Yuri actually did. But Monica presumably was still looking, right? Didn't find him. So, But now at least she knows the MC and Yuri found him, right? She sends a picture of a location nearby. All right. The wind hits in violent gusts, reminding me of my tired state. I need to go. The mass of people around me feels like a constant push against me. I feel empty. You, need, you guys need to eat. You made it good. Now I wrote down some things that might help. In our hands lies a pile of paper with an indescribable amount of writing. Because we know our next con uh, interaction with him is with the MC and Yuri. So Monica leaves prior to that. A sharp wind ejects them from her hand. Because, yeah, this is what causes her to leave the scene. I'll be back. Yeah, because this is what causes her to leave the scene. Like, the, the wind blowing away all our evidence or whatnot. I know it may seem dark, but I do believe she's here somewhere. I hope that's the case. I wasn't lying about staying till I find her. Well, we know for a fact she's here. The issue now is that she's not with her dad. So if that's the case, where is she? MC, I'm worried that you're letting just dispose of some of your common sense. Because he needs to eat and sleep, right? Otherwise, he'll die from malnourishment, like in Monica's route. What do you mean? You're talking as if it's a life or death situation. Maybe not physically, but I can't let things get away from me. Not again. I understand. You must understand that we also value you. Because he was referring to, again, in the sense that he lost Sayori once. He doesn't want to let the same thing happen to another person, right? He's he's in the midst of losing Sayori again, but obviously that's not his priority, given we're on Natsuki's route. I know, and I appreciate that. Whoa, Yuri, you okay? And that's obviously because Natsuki's dad is right behind us. You look like you've seen a ghost. It's him. I freeze hearing these words. He's right behind us. He's walking this way. Damn it. Oh, it's you again. It seems as you're just as clumsy as before. Because now we're actually getting the uh, interaction, right? Because before it was just error and then we couldn't like i was hoping we could go back in history and see it but that's not the case right so yeah this is natsuki's dad again it's you it seems as you're clumsy as before i mean his hair isn't actually that pink he's got the pink eyes though and i mean he he's really disheveled right he's got the uh what'd you call it stubble going he's got like untied tie like shirt not it's it's half you, it's better to wear a dress shirt completely untucked than half tucked in and like half not tucked in. So, I mean, they just made him as disheveled as possible, right? Let's see, I stare at him intently. I can tell he's hiding something. Because you know, you're, you're an idiot. You know he's her father, right? And you know he's the one behind this. He's saying like, I think he's hiding something. Uh, no shit, he's hiding Natsuki. She's not with him. Like, this isn't, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. What's your problem? Are you looking for something? Because, yeah, they, these two just bumped into each other twice somehow, right? Like, and, you know, but obviously we know information about him that he doesn't know we know about him, right? Uh, Raid slowly fills my soul. I can't let him go this time. Because, oh, my God. Because we couldn't see this choice given we just ignored it all, right? So, oh, my God. Yeah, because we... I don't, I assume it doesn't make a difference, right? But yeah, it's actually like, because we didn't see this, because I just basically in the previous uh, parts, like, or in the parts that I recorded, but I likely won't upload these two, you know, I basically just, we didn't see this, right? Given we just ignored the entire cutscene. Actually, I'm looking for, okay, so yeah, because obviously he's just straight up saying it right granted you know her, her father right natsuki's dead doesn't exactly know who we are maybe he figures out oh wait we're the mc the one natsuki's been texting because obviously he doesn't know that right if he did he would have dealt with uh, dealt with us earlier right 
So there's that, right? I mean, so he doesn't exactly know who we are, but this obviously is kind of compromising for him, right? Given he knows, oh wait, someone's looking for him. Who the hell is that? Okay, he's actually playing it smart here. He's actually really playing it smart because I was wondering what this conversation was, right? He's actually really playing it smart. Granted, the MC may have just revealed who he was because again, if he really, if Natsuki's getting dad knew we, or I guess the MC was the one Natsuki was texting, right? Then he would have dealt with him, right? But presumably didn't know that, or at least maybe up until now. Natsuki, you're daughter. Like, he uh, speaks like a New Yorkan or whatever. Daughter. But yeah, I mean, okay, so now he's just straight up saying it, right? You must be that MC she's always bitching about. Yeah, he literally just gave himself away, right? Why do you do these things? She needed to get away from parasites like you. Okay, so now they're actually having a conversation. Like, Natsuki's dad isn't even trying to hide it, right? Because here's the thing, right? Obviously, he knows he's exposed. But now he knows that we're the person Natsuki is talking to, right? The MC is, right? And how do you know that? He, he just said it, right? I mean, she told me so. If anyone's the... Per okay, so Yuri, Yuri's actually going in on it, right? Like, she's actually the one, like, going off on him. But here's the issue, right? So, because this is the question. Either he's lying or there's more going on behind the scenes than we think. Because this doesn't seem like Natsuki. Obviously, Yuri doesn't... Because if we're taking sort of the direction or angle that Yuri and Natsuki are close friends, she would obviously be almost, like, offended by this, right? Given she how much she values her friendship with Natsuki, right? So, but the, again, this line from Natsuki's dad ultimately, you know... There's the, either there's more behind either he's straight up lying or there's more behind the scenes than we think because she may be telling the truth and if so then the question is okay you know then I guess if she is telling the truth like how what it like why I guess you know what is sort of the reason for that like ultimately what's the motive right sort of like what's Natsuki's thinking there Let's see, Yuri's son outburst takes us both by surprise. And who might you be, since we're all just chiming in now? Yeah, like, we're just having a conversation in the middle of the street, right? This is insignificant and irrelevant. What matters is her. But, okay, so Yuri's at least smart enough not to straight up reveal her identity. I see what you've done to her, the abuse. Okay, this is the MC piping in. Because we don't know whether Yuri knows about this. We don't. You didn't raise her. You don't know what I've done for her. Because, yeah, again, like, the thing is... I view Natsuki's dad in a very different light ever since Summer Hope, given, and obviously since they're using the same character model, right? Because mm. in Summer Hope, like, sort of the story, right? Or I guess, sort of Natsuki's dad, it's almost more like, um, well, I wouldn't say they made him a good guy, <laughs> right? But ultimately, you know, he has reason behind why it is. Basically, the story behind Summer Hope is like, Nats, or. Er, Natsuki's dad's wife, or just Natsuki's mother, like, ultimately died due to some, like, disease or medical condition, right? So, that's why Natsuki's dad basically malnourishes her to try and, like, sort of mitigate that if it's, like, genetic or whatever. And obviously, he's actually a doctor in that mod. It's like, we learned that Natsuki's last name's, like, Shirai or something, and he's called, like, Dr. Shirai. He's, like, actually a real pillar of the community, like, right? He's actually a really good guy. And then ultimately, the MC actually has a heart-to-heart -heart with him, right? like, in Summer Hope or whatnot, so, even in this mod, where, like, let's say Natsuki's dad's actions are less, sort of, forgivable, like, or have seemingly zero reason behind them, the fact that they're using the same character model, it, it's kind of, like, ever since New Eyes, I've, sort of, seen Natsuki in a different light, like, especially, sort of, Natsuki and Yuri, like, the direction or angle that they're, like, you know, very close friends, right? I've seen that in, sort of, a different light, and it's kind of the same thing with Natsuki's dad. I don't view him as some, like, oh, evil for the sake of evil type person. Like, he likely has a reason for doing what he does. Granted, that may not be the case in this mod, but especially since they're using the same character mod, you know, it's hard not to view it that way. What you've done, I have a hard time believing any positive things came about that. They're actually, like, having a casual conversation in the middle of the street right now. I don't want to do these things, but discipline must be enforced. You're a sick and insane man. Like, I'm probably the most sane of all of us. Trying to reason with him. Well, I mean, because here's the thing, right? I guess the MC should inquire about why he moved. Because, like, that's the main question, right? 
Because it's there's two things, right? One, what he does to Natsuki, right? Obviously, like, you know. Because it doesn't seem as though she's malnourished in this month. Like, that's ultimately not a thing. It's almost like the opposite of Summer Hope. Because in Summer Hope, Natsuki's dad didn't beat her. But ultimately, not, he was still malnourished Natsuki, right? Granted, it was for a reason, but still. In this mod, it's seemingly the inverse, right? There's no sort of issues regarding Natsuki's malnourishment. More so ultimately along the lines of the beatings, right? And then that's a different issue from Natsuki's dad taking her and moving, right? After he likely figured out about the MC. So that those are sort of two different issues or like problems, right? Or stuff that we have questions about. But is this what she wants? If this is all for her, ask yourself what she wants. That's a good question because this is actually an issue. Like what you think is best for someone is not necessarily what is actually best for them right you don't know other people better than they know themselves so that's kind of like what this is referring to like he may be this like he may it like legitimately view what he's doing as good as opposed to just being a generic deadbeat dad but ultimately you know obviously we know it may not necessarily be best just let her come up i know she's not happy now because yeah this is sort of referring to like okay they just got up and left She's not happy because you came into the picture. You threw everything off the rails. If anything, I put her back on track. It's obvious she's never experienced genuine care. It'd be best for you to stop talking now. My mind shifts to a more demanding tone. I feel some. I feel all sense of worry leave me. She's coming home. She goes where I tell her to go. Just because you had one good day doesn't mean you can revoke my right as a parent. I mean, yeah, because he's only known her for like a week, right? That, that's the thing, right? You're hiding her from the world. I'll find her again. Because again, because here's the issue, right? The MC could go off on Natsuki's dad, but ultimately the issue is that he's not with Natsuki, right? So we need to figure out where Natsuki is. So sort of Natsuki's dad's sort of like goal or like objective here is to prevent us from finding her, right? So ultimately, so long as he does that, you know, he's good. Like, but that's why the MC can't like go fully off on him, right? Because he need they need to find Natsuki. They don't know where she is. You kids never know when to just stay out of things. When it deals with my people, I can't let that slide. Who's my people? Your people? That's why I'm like, what is he even saying? He slowly gets more and more frustrated with me. That's what liars do. What? That's not necessarily the case. No, those are two completely different things, right? I don't have time for this. Good day. He shoves past me. Like runs. <laughs> like. He, he's wearing freaking like dress pants and a dress shirt. Okay, so yeah, this is after, cause this was, um I actually ignored the whole conversation and this is what we got after it, right? So yeah, that was actually, okay. It was, thankfully, I actually figured out what the issue was. I over it all then, following him now. So how did, okay, cause she was actually nearby. I completely forgot she was nearby. So she actually overheard that in person. I thought she somehow overheard through the MC's phone because I thought she was still away, but yeah, nice. Let us know what you find. Who was that? Oh, like Monica, right? Monica's onto his trail. We should join her. Agreed. Okay, yeah, and it leads to this. This is the uh, hospital, right? Or it's the hospital sort of uh, custom background because we saw this in the act in the Monica Rob bad ending, right? Because this is straight up where he dies. <laughs> Night falls. We pursue this lunatic. Guys, like... Monica calls out to us, signaling us to slow down. Hey, where is he? I like a body condition. He's crystal clear. I watched him go into a house that way. I didn't follow too close. Why not? He might get suspicious if I did so. That's why I'm like, why is the MC asking that? That makes sense, actually. Good job tracking. But now what shall we do? It isn't wise to show our faces to him again. Shit, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I mean, or at least for the MC and... Uh, but here's the thing, it's not exactly unwise to show, because he already knows them. So in a sense, it would make sense, or in a sense, it's better for them to like try and confront him while Monica does things behind the scenes, given he doesn't know Monica, but it's sort of two lines of thinking, right? It depends on how far Natsuki's dad will go, right? If, you know, let's say, if they think he's going to like try and harm them, then obviously it's better for you know, Monica try and do stuff, right? Given she's not compromised. But, you know, if, let's say, he's not going to do that, or ultimately, let's say, if, I don't know, if you try and confront him again, like, if you want to try and directly confront him, it would be better to use the MC and Yuri, given he already knows them and you're not compromising Monica. It's two lines of thinking. Damn it, that puts a dent in the plan. Suddenly a thought hits me like a train. Well, not exactly. What do you mean by that? He probably has a good idea of who we are now. Not all of us. He never saw Monica, did he? He didn't. 
Here he goes into thought for a moment. I don't think he saw me, so that means we still have an ace in our pocket. Exactly, but you don't want to compromise it immediately. However, we are still oblivious as to what he's capable of. That's actually true. He seemed, he, because he didn't like go off on them, right? He actually tried to justify himself. So, you know, he wasn't just immediately resorts to violence, right? And we know the main issue is that, okay, he was separated from Natsuki. So Natsuki is being held somewhere. So you might need to gather information before you try in our confrontation. Likely where they, where she, she actually is, right? Precisely. Do we know exactly where he dwells? Not exactly, but I know a street. Because Monica followed him back, right? That's a good start. Let's go. See, this place sure looks a lot like home. I'll say it does look a bit familiar. This is the street, correct? I'm positive this is it. So now we just have to wait. So yeah, it's true. We proceed to wait silently on the street corner for a good amount of time. The night is dead silent. Only bugs chirping and breaking the peace. Let's see. A nearby door slams. Gets everyone's attention. That's him, right? Obviously, at least wherever he came from, right? You and I get out of sight. Monica, you're up. Got it. Heavy footsteps, kind of Monica's light ones. That's his, obviously, Natsuki's dad's. What are you doing out this lane? That's obviously Natsuki's dad. I look back to Yuri. That's him. His voice gave it away. Of course, like, who else would it be? I'm just taking a walk. That was quite the slam I heard. It's nothing. Just a bit stressed is all. Because, yeah, he's like, okay, now I'm compromised. Because Natsuki's dad's actually in a really rough position, right? Because the issue being, ultimately, he can't, you know, let us figure out where Natsuki is. Because that's sort of how we succeed, right? We get Natsuki and bring her back. He needs it to succeed by preventing that and likely moving to another place, right? Mm. If I were Natsuki's dad situation and I like had his same goals and objectives, I'd likely, if anything, I'd likely just jump ship to another city, right? Like, I don't really know how. And Natsuki hasn't been texting us, so we can presume, you know, she, you know, had her phone taken by him, but... I would, the only real way is to just get away from us yet again, right? Go to an even, like, more different city, right? Because mm. otherwise, they'll just keep searching until they find Natsuki. So that's the issue. You're lucky that door didn't come off. Shut up. You don't look like a carpenter to me, so shove it. I didn't mean to touch a nerve. Whatever. I have somewhere to be. Have a good night. So he has somewhere to be. That's actually interesting. Because then the question is, uh, okay... Uh, why? <laughs> I guess. So his heavy footsteps fade from your shot. Monica turns to us. Well, he's just a little ray of sunshine. Yeah, we heard it all. I didn't get the exact place though, so follow me. Okay, so it's not where he came from, right? Or is it? Is it where he is Nazi being held where he came from? Or was he just or is where he's going to where Natsuki is? So Architecture seems to repeat itself. I was thinking the same thing, but if this is the same as houses in our city, we have an advantage. Like, cause here's the thing, the mod, obviously, here's the, like, thing, right? The mod makers, they're just too lazy to use our custom backgrounds, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. One of the better mods I played, Summer Hope, actually has, like, zero aesthetic, but it's, again, the story and plot is so good, right? It counteracts that. It's sort of the same for this. But at least they're being meta about it, right? They're like, wow, these houses look familiar. And it's the exact same custom background. That's true. We know the layout of the structure. The underlying hope in me is see Natsuki is piercing my patience. I'm going to go knock, see if anyone comes. I mean, presumably there should be no one else, just Natsuki's father and Natsuki, right? Are you sure that'll work? Or something, I don't know. He probably doesn't give her a free roam of the place. Yeah, it's actually true. Why not? Uh, probably keeps her in a room. She would have probably broken out by now. That's actually true. Yeah, that's an art dumb... Th Listen, the, this, the MC's the king of asking dumb questions in this uh, mod, right? Do we have a better option? Well, no. I mean, break in. Then I'm going. I approach the beaten door. Damn, he must slam it off. He literally just got here. Hello? Nothing. Zilch. Zip. Nada. Hello, is anyone home? I jump back in shock. Natsuki, are you in there? Did you hear something? That's why I'm like, what do you mean you jump back in shock? Like, what happened? I heard a scream. I... Okay, the question then is, okay, if there's a scream, then what the hell is going on in there, right? Presumably Nazi is the only one in there. So maybe, you know, I guess she can't speak somehow, just scream, but we'll have to see. MC, that's not the best option. It could have an alarm system. That's actually true, though. Like, this could be a trap. It very well could be a trap. 
Like, that'd actually be a 200 IQ move from Natsuki's dad. Like, he knows he's being pursued, so he sets a trap, right? We could be running off time. It also could be alarm system. How much would you be able to help if you're in jail for breaking into a house? Uh, you know, hey, that's just bail, right? I mean, it's not that big. Her immediate snapback sounds me. She really outsmarted me. Damn it. We need to do something. You know, stake out the place, right? Presumably they haven't, they've only looked at the front door. Like, scout out the property, right? Have someone see if Natsuki's dad's coming back. We could wait until he comes back and have someone, is that supposed to be stalk or stall? He's seen all of us now. Is that a good course of action? I mean, the M, because it is actually, hold on. I'm going to uh, transition here. So, yep, see you in the next one.